If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to another episode of Learn JMeter series. In our last video, we have seen how you can deploy JMeter on AWS using Terraform. In this video, we are going to learn how to create JMeter golden image using Packer on AWS. Before we start seeing about Packer and how to create the golden image, first let us understand about what is golden image. Think of it's like a template for your easy deployment. So it's a template for your virtual machine or it could be some server or desktop. So basically the golden image contains the necessary software you would like to spin up pretty quickly. So it will contain uh, say for example Nginx or some sort of libraries, some CLI tools and some other configurations etc. So other names you could have come across is like uh, master image or clone image etc. So those are the other terms for the golden image. By using golden image you can easily spin up the instances you want so that you can get started with your development work or testing work or for even production. So using Packer you can create the golden image pretty quickly. It is an open source tool from HashiCorp. So HashiCorp has a lot of products uh, in their umbrella. So one of the tool is Packer. Packer helps you to create identical machine images for multiple platforms using single source template. So that's the power of Packer. Once you write it, you can create the image for multiple platforms. And also it enables the collaboration between multiple teams. For example, the image could be a contribution from your security team or QA also can contribute to the image etc and finally you will get the output of the golden image. So this collaboration enables the team culture and also you can create something solid. To get started with Packer first you need to install Packer CLI which is free to download and also you have to configure the AWS CLI with access key and secret and also the default region and other details. So once you installed Packer, I have already created the HCL file for JMeter. So you have to just clone the repository packer-jmeter.git from my GitHub repo and just go inside the packer jmeter slash file or slash shell. Then you can issue the command packer build dot. I have created two different variants. So basically the implementation is slightly different but the output is uh, same. So file means you will be sending file to the remote instance and then it will just execute the shell file. And if you use the shell it will just uh, execute the shell uh, when we can see the clearly the output what's going on uh, when you run the uh, command. So now it's time for a quick demo and let us start with uh, Packer and then we will go to AWS console. So this is the website you have to reach or to download the Packer, packer.io. And here if you just click on install Packer, you can select the appropriate commands for your operating systems. I am using Windows subsystem for Linux and based on your operating system, you can just select and then you can follow the instructions. It's pretty easy, straightforward. Now, if you go to AWS, and as usual, I am selecting the region Ohio and we are going to leverage uh, EC2. So just click on EC2. So here you can see once you create the image, uh, you can just uh, uh, see the status and from the image, you can spin up the instances you want. So now let us go to a terminal and let us issue some basic commands. So this is my uh, GitHub repository. In the left side, you can see there are uh, folders file and shell and if you just open readme.md you can uh, see the instructions clearly. Since I have already cloned the repository and now I am going to uh, use uh, say a file variant. So here first thing is you need to validate the uh, HCL file. So HCL file will have some default values so you have to configure if you want to change. For example if you want to deploy uh, something uh, older version of JMeter or a plugin manager or list of plugins etc. You can change it there. So now let me open a file folder and just double click on jmeter-amazon.packer.hcl 
So here the source. So we are going to build the image using the EBS backed uh, source. So the region is uh, east to two here and the instant type is T2 micro and the AMI name will be uh, JMeter and the current timestamp and the username we have to enter EC2 iPhone user and we have to just uh, select which base image you are going to use. So here this particular filter supports regular expression, the wildcard expression. So if you want to change something Ubuntu or CentOS, definitely you can change it, but make sure uh, the username also you are changing it appropriately. And in the build, as you see here, we are uh, making use of the uh, file provisioner. So this is what uh, it will do when you execute this. It will just uh, uh, copy the install uh, underscore jmeter.sh to the remote destination. And then it will just uh, start executing using the uh, sudo privilege. And then it will uh, deploy the jmeter, uh, java and other jmeter plugins. So now you will ask a question, uh, where do I configure the uh, jmeter plugins? To configure the jmeter plugins, so in this particular uh, variant, you have to open uh, install hyphen uh, install underscore jmeter.sh and here you have to just uh, line number 9, you have to just keep adding comma and uh, add the plugin name. So rest everything will be taken care of automatically and if you want to change any of the version, of course you can do it here, line number 3, line number 5 and line number 7. And if you go to shell again, you can see the similar uh, install underscore jmeter.sh. But this works slightly different because here in the packer.hcl file itself, we are passing a lot of environment variables. And if you want to change something, you can make use of this uh, variable uh, section. So at the bottom, line number 38 onwards, you can just configure the uh, different uh, versions. So now let me close everything and I'm going to use the uh, file variant. And before you get started, you can inspect the packer or you can uh, format it. So just to make sure everything is working fine or not. So before that, let me just type a packer hyphen version here so that you can see what's the version I'm using. So I'm using the latest version. I guess it is 1.7.9. Yeah. So this is the latest version at this time of recording. Now let me clear my screen and let me uh, format it. So just to format uh, fmt uh, and dot. So dot represents the current directory uh, path and whatever the files uh, it has, it will just format it and then it will just uh, displace it in the uh, screen. So next step is to inspect. So inspect again, it is a good practice to inspect so that you can see uh, the input, output and the other details. So here you can see uh, input variables, nothing, local variables, nothing, bills. So all the details you can see. So now it's time to build our image. And as you know, it is uh, making use of the region US East 2 and T2 micro. So now let me just issue a packer a build dot. So this is the command to build the image. So during this build process, a lot of things will happen under the hood. So first it will uh, contact the AWS uh, infrastructure and then it will uh, start provisioning the AMI. So how it will provision is, it will create uh, some temporary key pair, temporary security group. So whatever things it's required to reach, to make use of the EBS backed stuff, it will start doing it. So typically it will uh, take around three to five minutes of time to build the image. Again, it depends on what you are building. Since we are making use of Java, Jmeter and Jmeter plugins, uh, it will take three to five minutes. And the output would be the instant ID, uh, sorry, not instance ID, AMI ID, and then uh, it will uh, display the uh, region. So here, if you see, it is displaying the progress. So what it is doing in the particular uh, SSH session. And if any error occurs, uh, of course, you can see it in the red color. But uh, I have tested it properly. Uh, you don't, you should not see any error. If you are seeing any error, uh, please uh, log an issue in my uh, GitHub repository. And if you see here, it is completing the uh, M, uh, the Java installation and it's installing Jmeter, installing Jmeter plugins, etc. And at last, it will start uh, uh, terminating the instance it has created and then it will create the AMI out of it. So if now if you go to AWS and if you just go to instance running, uh, make sure you are in the right region. So right now, uh, let me clear my filter. And as you see here, so it has created a temporary instance uh, t2micro and name is packer builder and it's this is the instance id and it is now it's stopping basically so basically the building the image is done 
that's why it's terminating the instance uh, all by itself basically it's a temporary so using this one it will start building and then it will just uh, give the image so the ami so now if you go to uh, ami section under the images and if you just uh, keep uh, refreshing uh, here you can see the uh, name of your image ami id and the ami name and the source and visibility because it is private it is mine it is not uh, publicly available and the status is pending so now let us go to the terminal here and it's still waiting for ami to become ready so it's still waiting it's not completed so basically uh, it has downloaded all the steps it is now creating the ami so that we can uh, spin up the instance so now let us wait for a couple more minutes i think it should be done then we can uh, go back to aws console Okay, now our building the image uh, process is done. As you see here, it took 5 minutes, 15 seconds to create this image. Now let us go back to uh, AWS and see the status there. And if you hit refresh, you, yes, you see the status is available. So now you can use this image to spin up the instances directly. So no need to uh, use uh, the Terraform module. And now you can reuse this image uh, to spin up the instances. So Terraform has its own uh, usage and Packer has its own uh, features. So now let us spin up an instance from this image. So there are a couple of ways you can do. Uh, one is using this uh, launch instance from image button here. Or you can just uh, copy this uh, AMI uh, ID and then you can go to uh, EC2 dashboard and click on uh, launch instance. And in this uh, step one, just enter the AMI ID and hit enter. And if you go to my AMIs and you can just select this particular uh, uh, AMI. So now let us go back to the uh, our AMI section so that we can spin the instance from there. So go to AMIs and click on the launch instance from image. Again, it will take you to the second step directly. And now I'm going to select T2 small. So T2 small is not a free tier. So please make a note of it. And uh, just to follow the wizard. So I'm going with the default uh, steps. I'm not going to change anything for the demonstration purpose. So now uh, I'm just going to select the default uh, security group. And I'm going to launch by selecting the uh, key pair. So now it is launching the instance based on the image we have created. So whenever we launch that this instance, it should have Java, Jmeter and Jmeter plugins. Now let us click on view instances and see the status. So right now uh, it is pending. So just uh, click on this particular instance and copy the uh, public IP. So we are going to SSH into this particular instance and see is everything installed or not. Okay, now the status is running. Let me open a terminal, paste the uh, public IP here. Okay, now we have successfully logged in. And if I type ls, it should have jmeter. So as you see here, there's a folder called uh, Apache jmeter 5.4.3. So now let me uh, cd into this particular uh, folder and let us execute uh, jmeter v. So this should uh, display the jmeter version. Okay, so it is displaying properly. Uh, the error is due to, I think we have to install, uh, we have to issue the sudo command. So now let us uh, uh, see the Java version. So Java version is uh, uh, 17, uh, Coreto, and uh, Amazon uh, flavor. And now uh, let me uh, check the plugin status. So before that, I'm going to uh, change the mode of execution for the plugins uh, file here. So we have to use uh, sudo. So now as you see, it is uh, displaying the output. So these are the plugins we have installed, uh, Jmeter functions and uh, other uh, ultimate group uh, uh, plugin. So now this is how you make use of the packer to build the image and uh, you create the instance on top of it. So it is pretty quick, uh, it is reusable and if you want to change some of the version, definitely you can change the packer file and then you can uh, just uh, create the AMA out of it. So before we uh, sign off, I would like to show you how to uh, clearly shut down everything. So there are a couple of things you have to do. One is first you have to shut down this particular instance. So to shut down this, select the instance and go to instance state and click on uh, terminate instance and click on terminate. Again, terminating this, 
will not uh, solve you from the billing basically so you have to terminate the ami as well to terminate the ami first you have to go to the uh, ami section and here first you have to deregister so select this particular image and go to action and deregister uh, deregister the ami next you have to go to uh, volumes so in uh, volumes so here you can see it is in news and if you go to uh, snapshot again you can see so this snapshot packer builder also we have to delete this otherwise you need to pay for this particular storage because we are making use of ebs backed instance so it will uh, make use of the elastic block storage so you have to just uh, select this particular snapshot and go to action and click on delete snapshot so now the snapshot also deleted and if you go to uh, volume you don't see any volume here because once the snapshot is deleted volume also will get deleted and ami if you go to ami again no amis will be there and if you go to ec2 dashboard again no instances are running so make sure you do everything in the right region so this is how you properly shut down after your usage otherwise you need to pay money to the uh, aws so that's the case on my side if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching have a good day if you would like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel